We all know that Marvel Studios is allowing director Taika Waititi to make the movie he wants to with the less restrictions when it comes to Thor Love and Thunder. So now the director gives us a little idea of how very different it is from Ragnarok. So this comes from a recent interview with Empire Magazine where they got to talk just a little bit to Taika and asked him about his approach and vision for Thor Love and Thunder and how it compares to in size, scope, scale and the final product in terms of what it offers and how different it is to Ragnarok. And he said, and I quote, it's very different from Ragnarok. It's crazier. I'll tell you what's different. There'll be far more emotion in this film and a lot more love and a lot more thunder and a lot more Thor if you've seen the photos. End quote. So what he's telling you is he's acknowledging the set photo leaks and everything we saw and everything we're speculating and obviously the confirmations of some stuff and everything that's leaked in regards to the merchandise and quite obviously more Thor because we know there's two Thors now. It's going to be crazier because again they're allowing him to do more of what Taika did with Ragnarok which is take it in new directions that we wouldn't expect. And as he says, more love. Well, it's called Love and Thunder. One would be safe to assume that a plot that involves the love between Jane and probably Thor Odin's son will be explored. Unless they're going to flip that on its head and do something different. Which, again, they could. We have no idea. This is going in different directions. And it's honestly exactly what I expect him to say. It's like, look, we're just going bigger and better. That's what everybody else has said when they tease and talk about it. And everybody mentions specifically how crazy. It is. Crazy is a word everybody, when asked about being involved with this film, uses. That, to me, is the most intriguing part. What does crazy mean? Because everybody has a different definition of the word crazy and how they perceive what craziness is so what's it gonna be if everybody keeps saying it's got to be something unexpected and uniquely different my guess is is that we're gonna see probably some of the most unique visuals and ways that they incorporate those visuals into the environment and the plot and the battles that we've ever seen like i will not be surprised if we use more of like the rainbow bridge and the uh, bifrost and everything and crazy new ways that we just don't expect and you're like oh yeah like there's only taika that could really pull that one off because if you've seen some of his other work you understand that he kind of perceives things a little different which you know depend on if you like his style for better or for worse that's what you're gonna get 